Hey guys, it's John Michael and Monica from The New Adventure. And today we're going to be doing a couple of modifications on the, the camper. camper. So one of those, the big thing we want to tackle is we're adding dual batteries to our camper. The reason for that, we don't want to have to rely on shore power as much. We'd like to be able to go maybe boondocking or just be able to camp for longer periods without being hooked up to anything. So if you hang on to the end of the video, you'll see why. We're going to tell you where we're going. So hang in there and enjoy. Here we go. So one of the other reasons we're making this change, we're going from one single 12 volt 100 amp hour battery to two 6 volt, which will run in series, 225 amp hour batteries. So we're more than doubling the power and length our batteries are going to last. So going from one battery to two batteries, we've got to change our battery box. This is what came with the camper. Uh, it's just kind of screwed down to this battery tray. Hopefully I'll be able to take this out and hopefully the new one will fit in there. We'll see. I kind of trusted the internet on that one, so we'll see how it works. <laughs> Our new battery box we ordered from Battery Sales and Service. I found it online. I couldn't find one on Amazon and I have an Amazon addiction so that was obviously the first place I went to look for it. Didn't find anything there. Searched all over. Found this box. Per the website it says it's going to fit the batteries we have. I'll be honest with you. I have not test fitted it yet. I really wanted to install it and then deinstall it and reinstall it back in front of y'all but I figure let's just do it live so we'll see how it goes. So we're going to open it up for the first time here. Sorry for the cold. I have a summer cold. A lid, a battery strap, and a box. Let's test it out. So, we got the limits of the width of the tray, and I really don't want to have to move our gas connection. Um, I guess we could just move it down if we need to, but hopefully this will just slide in here. We are 100% good. That will work. Let's make sure our batteries fit in the box now. I'm gonna do it right here on the ground so I'm not lifting them as much. Okay, that one fits. I didn't notice these cutouts probably would have been cool to put them towards the front because the cables are on the front but the way they're routed I can cut some zip ties off and bring them in the back and it'll be fine and it'll leave that spot open I got lucky I'm not as dumb as I thought so with two six volt batteries if you run them in series you connect the negative from one battery to the positive from the other battery and then hook up your terminals like normal your red on your positive your black on your negative it creates a 12 volt battery i guess we get better get used to this heat before we're going <laughs> but supposedly it's a dry heat, right? I think hot is hot. That's what I think. So before we started this project, I do have a battery disconnect. It's inside the camper and I did disconnect it inside. So should have no power load on these batteries as we're doing this. The charger is not trying to charge them. So I'm not getting any arcing. That's a good thing. So I want to check my voltage just to make sure we're good. I believe we're fine. But We're at 12.7 volts. So each battery gives off about 6.3 volts. Running them in series the way we are gets us up to 12.7. So we should be good to go. I'm gonna now go inside, turn on my battery uh, disconnect, and make sure that we are charging our batteries and everything's looking good. 13.4, so we're charging now. So from here, we're gonna put a cap on it. 
And then I have ordered some straps that go around the battery box. They just haven't made it here yet. But they will secure so our cap doesn't fly off. So we're good to go. So I got us a flag and I've been trying to figure out how do I hang it. Usually we have an extension cord that goes up to hang some lights across here. And I just didn't want to do that. It doesn't look as good. So I found some clips for the flag. I'm going to poke some holes in this awning here. Allow me to clip the flag to it. And hopefully that'll hold it. So let's give that a shot see what it looks like. I'm going to just drill a couple holes in it. Mark out my distance. Drill some holes. And we'll have America floating on the side of our camp. So wait, you're going to poke holes on the side of our new awning? Yeah, see how it's got like holes in it? I'll just drill a hole in it. So when we first got the camper, the fridge actually opened this way, and your kitchen's over here, so it was kind of backwards. And then also, it had this wood grain stuff up here. We didn't like that. Whenever we go on a trip, we like to get a magnet. Like right here, we were in Fort DeSoto, Florida. So we got a magnet for it, and we use our fridge to kind of, it's our memory or our scrapbook of our past trips. So this summer, we plan to go a few more places, want to add to it, so we found a way to do this. I got my cousin, or actually Monica's cousin, Alan, who has a connection with some sheet metal. And he was able to cut me the exact sizes I needed, so thank you very much, Alan. And we took them apart the fridge, slid them in there. We can put, or we can kind of keep a trip journal of everywhere we go with a magnet and use our whole fridge. Whew, still sweating. It's hot outside. Well, it's not gonna be any cooler where we're headed. I guess we better get used to it. So this summer, we're headed to Moab, Utah. We are. And then to Colorado. We are. And back, and we're driving. We're pulling our camper. How many miles? I think it's around 2,500 one way. Yeah. So that's a ton of miles. And just so you know, our Ford is not a young girl. No, she's got 213,000 miles on her. But right now she's in the shop uh, with Pearson's Diesel. So Jody, take care of me, bud. And um, yeah, getting so an injector fixed on it. Yep. And he's going to go through everything. Just make sure we're good to go. We've gone through the camper. So we bought this toy hauler for this trip. Yeah. Um, we bought a toy hauler, we have a Ranger, and uh, I'm not impressed. So we're not taking the Ranger. We yeah. love the Ranger. Um, we have been really impressed with it. Absolutely. But, but the toy hauler aspect of this camper does not work for us. If you guys bummer. have been watching, you know why. And my dad has said he will not fix the cabinet doors <laughs> anymore. We've only <laughs> broke them twice. <laughs> We've replaced the tie holes in the floor, but to I be think honest, for a we, shorter trip, we would be fine. Well, so we're going to be driving four days straight to get out there. Mm -hmm. So we're going to be sleeping in the camper. And with the Ranger, our kids don't have a place to sleep. We right. have to pull the Ranger out. So if we're going to do like Walmarts or um, just quick camp stops, stuff like that, we don't want to unload the Ranger in the middle of the night and right. leave it outside. Mm -hmm. So it's just not going to work. So if you guys have any places you want us to stop and see while we're on our way there, we are going to be driving I-40 on the way there. Um, if you guys have anything you want us to see or do on our way, leave us some comments below. Or if you have any places you want us to visit, in, we're going to be in Moab, we're going to do Zion Canyon, Bryce Canyon. Garden of the Gods. Yep, that's in Colorado. We're going to do Rocky Mountain National Park, plan on doing Sand Dune National Park, which I think the kids will love that. So we've got an epic summer plan and we are so excited to take y'all along. So don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that little notification bell too, so you'll know when we upload. Because we're going to still do our Sunday videos. Right. Um, may sprinkle some more in there so if you don't um follow us yet on instagram or facebook go ahead and do that too because i'll be uploading pictures as we travel even if i can't um upload, video. upload videos it'll be easier to do that so if you want to follow us along there um the new adventure on facebook and what's the instagram the new adventure the new adventure we're so original right <laughs> it's always new and exciting <laughs> all right thanks guys